up, okay? Did you have a specific one in mind? I believe I've mentioned before that Port Telvanus is the home to many opportunistic merchants. I recall one encounter I had with the Slode, not too long ago actually, perhaps a year or two. This Slode really caught my attention as it was of a much more reclusive breed, a Sea Slode. That particular variant of Slode is a whole lot more solitary than their Thracian counterparts, and they wield a different sort of magic, namely Shadow and Mind magic. I must reiterate that Slode like these are exceedingly rare, so you'd figure they would be utterly impossible to communicate with. However, that is not the case. One is able to speak with them through the mind, or perhaps more accurately, they may choose to speak with you. One must be quite sharp and focused when communicating with them, unless you want them to read your mind like an open book. You want to think and reveal only the matters at hand. This particular Slode had arrived by airship, but I know some prefer to refer to said airships as floaters. The Slod was in the market for a variety of... hard-to-get items, which many merchants were more than happy to provide. I recall his name. Tharsis. It had this... booming, deep element to it in my mind. Rather hard to describe in Cyrodiilic terms. The creature made me extremely uncomfortable, not to mention the noxious gases its airship emitted though I did seem to be in the market for an alternative source for keeping it afloat. The rumor floating around was that it was in the market for something similar to the Ingenium that kept Bardau afloat prior to the Red Year, but that would likely require a ghastly amount of black souls. The Slode was contemptible, but I will concede that he drove a fair bargain for a few ingredients I was in the market for. He stuck around for a few more days before leaving Port Havanis, heading west, if I recall. Haven't seen or heard about him since.